With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A block of mass M is placed on the top of a bigger block of mass 10M as shown in the figure. All the surfaces are frictionless and the system is released from rest. Then the distance moved by the bigger block at the instant when the smaller block reaches to the ground. So what will happen here? If you see after some time this wedge will move in this direction when it this block will come to the bottom. Right. So with respect to the wedge this block will move this much right. Now we have to calculate the distance moved by the wedge when the block comes to here from point A to point B, right? So if you see if the block moved by a distance x, right? So we can see here the displacement of the m mass. I will write displacement. of m with respect to 10m right is equals to 2.2 meter towards left so let's take this direction as positive so i will write here minus 2.2 meter very simple now if i talk about let's suppose i say it uh, one block and this is two right so if i say this is displacement of one with respect to two and you could see the displacement of two we already taken is x right so we can calculate the displacement of one with respect to ground that would be displacement of one with respect to two plus displacement of two so i will write minus 2.2 plus x will be the displacement of the smaller block with respect to the wedge very simple now if you can see here there is no net force in horizontal direction so the displacement of the center of mass in horizontal direction will be zero so i will write displacement of center of mass in horizontal direction is equals to zero very simple so i will write here m1 s1 plus m2 s2 is equals to displacement of center of mass times total mass that is m1 plus m2 so already we discussed that in horizontal direction there won't be any displacement of the center of mass so this this term will become zero now just you can put the value of m1 s1 so m1 s1 m1 is m and s1 is x minus 2.2 and m2 is 10m and x2 is if you see we calculate we already taken it x right so i will write s2 is, is x is equals to 0 so this m will get cancelled out and you will write x minus 2.2 plus 10x is equals to 0 so it will be 11x is equals to 2.2 so it will be x is equals to 0.2 so this will be our answer so the displacement of the wedge when this block will come at the bottom will be 0.2 meter and this is our answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today